grammar lesson. Countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are those nouns that can be counted. We can say one pen, two pens, three pens. For the uncountable nouns, those nouns are the nouns that cannot be counted. We say some paper, some bread. Uncountable nouns take a singular verb and are not used with a or an. Uncountable nouns are mass nouns like blood, bread, butter, subjects of a study like physics, economics, chemistry, languages, Chinese, French, sports like basketball, football, and tennis, diseases like chickenpox, measles, mumps, natural phenomena like sunlight, fog, gravity, certain nouns like advice, anger, courage, chaos, luck, truth, music, news, weather, collective nouns like baggage, luggage, rubbish, money, some, any, and no. Some is used before countable or uncountable nouns. We can say, I bought some apples. He asked for some advice. Some and its compounds, someone, something, somewhere, etc. are used in positive sentences. They can also be used in questions to make an offer, a request, or when we expect a positive answer. For example, there is someone at the door. It's a positive sentence. Would you like something to eat? It's an offer. Can I have something to drink? It's a request. Any is used before countable or uncountable nouns. We can say, are there any pears left? Is there any juice in the fridge? Any and its compounds are used in questions. Is there anything I can do? They can also be used in positive sentences, meaning it doesn't matter how, what, when, where, etc. You can take anybody with you. Any and its compounds are used after if in positive sentence. For example, if you tell anyone, I will be angry with you. No, not, or any can be used before countable or uncountable nouns. We can say there are no cars on the street. There is no oxygen in his face. No, not, or any, and their compounds are used in negations. There is no one in the building. This means that there is not anyone in the building. Any and its compounds are used in with negative words, like hardly, never, seldom, rarely, she seldom talks to anyone. Expressing preferences. We can express preferences using would rather, which is equal to I prefer. When the subject of would rather is also the subject of the following verb, we can use would rather plus ver infinitive. We can use would rather plus ver infinitive, which is the present ver infinitive, to express future or present reference. We can say she would rather stay and then go out for dinner. If you want to express a past preference, you can use the perfect bare infinitive to express the past preference. For example, he would rather have gone to Boston than to Seattle. But when the subject of would rather is different from the subject of the following verb, things are different. We use would rather plus the subject of 
the, the other action. Then we use the past simple to express present or future reference. I'd rather you did the washing up tonight. Here the subjects are different. Here we have I and another subject, you. And if you want to express a past reference, you can use the past perfect after would rather. I would rather we had taken the metro yesterday. We can use prefer plus gerund or noun to another gerund to express general preference. If you prefer something in general, you can use this structure. I prefer listening to the radio to watching TV. She prefers rice to pasta. Another example, but with the word rather than instead of the word to. He prefers listening to music rather than watching TV. You can also use two plus infinitive after the word prefer. But in this case, you can also, you can only use rather than, not to. She prefers to stay home rather than go out. We can say to go out. If you want to express a specific preference, you can use would prefer to. I prefer to go sailing rather than go skiing. If you want to express a specific preference, you can also use would rather plus infinitive than the other infinitive. I'd rather visit the museum than go to the opera. Clauses of result. We can use such or so as a clause of result. We can use such plus adjective and a noun. It was such a lovely day that we decided to go out. There was such heavy traffic that it took us hours to reach the central square. Pay attention that in such a sentence, we didn't use a here because traffic is an uncountable noun. After so, we can use the adjective or the adverb. He was running so quickly that he tripped and fell. And you can also use expressions like few, little, much, many after the word so there were so few tickets sold that the concert was cancelled articles a or an is used before singular countable nouns you can say there is a man waiting for you at the door i had an interesting time at the park that is used with singular and plural nouns, countable and uncountable nouns, to talk about something specific or when the noun is mentioned for a second time. For example, the green building is my school. Here I'm talking about a specific building. There is a car parked in the middle of the road. The car is poles. That is used before nouns which are unique. You can say the moon, the sun, the tower of London, names of cinemas, theaters, museums, magazines, and galleries, names of rivers like the Thames, seas like the North Sea, groups of islands and states like the Orkney Islands or the USA, mountain range like the Alps, Deserts, like the Sahara Desert. Oceans, like the Atlantic. Musical instruments. Dances, like the flute or the samba. Names of families, like the Browns. Nationalities ending in SH, CH, or ESE. Like the Welsh, the Dutch, the Chinese. Other plural nationalities are used with or without that. We can say the South. Africans or South Africans directly, the Americans or Americans directly. Titles like the President, the Prince of Wales. Pay attention that the word that is omitted before titles with proper nouns. 
we say Queen Elizabeth. Adjectives used as plural nouns, like the blind. Here I'm talking about blind people. The poor, here, here I'm mentioning people who are poor. And the superlative degree of adjectives, adverbs. He is the most intelligent one here. The most intelligent. Restaurants, shops, banks, and hotels, which have the name of their founder and end in apostrophe S, are not preceded with that. We say Tom's Cafe, Harrods, Baring's Bank, but we say the White Horse, because White Horse is not the name of the founder. Bed, church, college, court, hospital, prison, School are not preceded with thou when we refer to the purpose for which they exist. He goes to a church every Sunday, but we have to be at the church at two o'clock for Julie's wedding. Question tags. Question tags are short questions added to an affirmative or negative statements. He is from Spain, isn't he? This is that question tag. You haven't seen Sam, have you? Pay attention that if the sentence is affirmative, the question tag is negative and vice versa. Study the following exceptions. If you have I am, becomes aren't I? I'm rather late, aren't I? If the word have is used idiomatically, it becomes don't I? For example, he had lunch at two o'clock, didn't he? Let's becomes, shall we? Let's say play tennis, shall we? This, that becomes it. This is your ring, isn't it? Note that with words like everybody, somebody, nobody, we use they. Nobody passed the test, did they? If the word have is used to express position, becomes haven't. I have a car, haven't I? These or those become they. Let's have some rewrite examples. She earns lots of money. She can buy whatever she wants. I want to use the word so here. Great. She earns so much money that she can buy whatever she wants. Next one. She sang beautifully. And I almost cried. Use the word that. Yes. She sang so beautifully that I almost cried. Next one, he has got a lot of talent. Everyone admires him. Use the word so. Great. He has got so much talent that everyone admires him. Let's have a look at other examples. She has a lot of books. Her house looks like a library. Use the word so. Great. She has so many books that her house looks like a library. The food was awful. We complained to the manager. Use the word such. Great. It was such awful food that we complained to the manager. It will be good if we leave next Monday. I'd rather we left or would leave next Monday. I would prefer to stay in tonight. I'd rather stay in tonight. Tom likes going to the beach. He doesn't like staying by the pool. Tom prefers going to the beach rather than or to staying by the pool. Anne would rather buy her own flat than rent one. Anne would prefer to buy her own flat rather than rent one. <laughs> 